ourselves straight to Venice. <laughs> so we've made it to the Venice Grand Canal Mall. Um, yeah. This is madness, absolute madness. We're on the bridge now. It's so crazy, have a look across. Yeah. Like it's, and it goes all the way that way along and it's... It is really cute, it's yeah. really, really cute. Definitely worth coming to, right? It's just a, a bit of a shock when you come in, you're like, whoa, it's right there. You come in the main entrance, and you just see in front of you straight away, which is kind of cool. had a strap that was holding my water bottle and I lost it and now I'm annoyed. She's very annoyed. It's been mad. It's a bit surreal isn't it like where how it's placed. You come in the door and it's just like boom. The it's just right there, there the canal like it, yeah. it's really pretty actually. They, they've done a good, a good job there. It's right really nice. Yeah. It's got lots of shop, shops, lots of restaurants, cafes, plenty of opportunities to like sort of walk around and take pictures and all that. Four hours later so we've made it to Chinatown. Plan really is get the food and basis walk around really and see what we get on. So we've made it to the famous gate called Friendship Art. Look at it. So that looks kind of cool. Oh, my camera angles are terrible. Here we go. So that's How looks kind of cool. cool. Is that? Yeah, it looks pretty cool, right? Um, so it looks like this is the main entrance in the Chinatown. Um, so we're going to have a little walk around and see what it's all about, really. Day. So previously I posted on my stories uh, on Instagram asking people what do they think we're gonna do? Take a ferry of 22 hours from Manila to Cebu or 1.5 hours flight? We decided we're gonna take the flight because it's a lot quicker, it's a lot easier, we're already tired and we said we're just gonna make this quick and easy as easy as possible. So here we are, we're gonna head to the airport now. So our bags are packed, <laughs> ready to go. So we have the flight in three hours time, but we want to do some shopping first quickly, get some bits, get on the flight, and then phew, in Cebu, and we'll, we'll go from there, so. <laughs> Made it. One has got her trolley again. However, I'm carrying my bag. Excuse your chick. And she's carrying her bag. Let's go. Air Asia, here we come. Cebu, here we come. So we made it to the Absolutely airport. Absolutely raging. <laughs> I really am. Oh. We got here, got our bags, got the security, and then they stopped our bags. Hey ho, they took out, guess what, our extension lead. We survive on that extension lead. So basically the extension lead is as important as Wi-Fi here in, in our lives. And basically, yeah, so he did, they were like camping us on, in the cabin. So we've, we've purchased um, our big bags to come on board with us in the cabin. So that's what we bought them originally for in the first place. And basically they said it's a Manila airport issue you can't bring extension cords on board with you. I was trying to hang it with the, um, with the supervisor um, and he was obviously having 
and all of this. So yeah, just one one tip for you there. Don't don't bring your extension lead on a on board in the on cabin board with you. Cabin, yeah, that's you can word. bring it. You can check it in because he asked me have I got a checking bag and I said no. So um, cabin bag, cabin no bag, extension lead. No extension lead. One hour later. So a bit of an update. Our flight has been uh, delayed by one hour. And also, I think um, we might have messed up with the bags. But we're gonna keep quiet for now and uh, chance our arm. Yeah, so basically, there was one bag on board Air Asia yesterday. <clears throat> and I purchased a second bag. And I read it as your second bag can be up to 14 kgs. Our bags are about 12-ish, so we're like grams. So 12 and a 7 normal bag for free. And now I've read it over there, it says you need a combined of 14. Two bags, 14. So 7 and 7, I can't go over 10. Which I don't think that's the case. So, uh, so we're hoping we'll wiggle through. We'll wait and see. So another little tip for you. Check properly. Check properly. <laughs> I'm raging. I'm actually raging. <laughs> I'm raging. He's in the zone editing. I heard that. <laughs> Under the seat in front of you. Thank you. We're on. <laughs> We're very far away. <laughs> okay. It's beyond company control and we thank you for your patience and understanding. By the way, for your flight information, it could take us one hour and five minutes. Thank you. Good weather. So we landed safe and sound and as you can remember, we had some issues with the bags. Well, we, well, thought, we thought we did. <laughs> we thought we will and we didn't. So yeah, perfect. It went smooth. Two bags in. So I was stressing for no reason basically. So we're on our way to our accommodation now. So we got to our Airbnb. Very cute place. So we have our kitchen area, dining area, bedroom area, office area, and a nice relaxing area with a view of the pool. Nice. So we're settled in and now we're gonna go and get some food. We are both absolutely starving. Rabbit. So yeah, so it's a five minutes walk to uh, the food. The food camp. Food camp, yes. Food camp. So we're gonna go to see what this food camp is about and see what we can get. And uh, we'll keep it posted. So here we are at the food camp. So we're gonna check it out. <laughs> see what's there. <laughs> Doesn't look like much, but we'll see. Okay, take two, that was just the parking. This is the food camp. <laughs> Feeling a bit better now, because we're like, oh, I don't know what this is, but yeah, this looks quite cool. Yeah, we weren't too sure there, we came in first, because <laughs> we just nice. saw this here. But now, as you can see, it's a bit more activities going on inside. So Michael is gonna go now and get us some food. I don't know if you can hear me, the music here is loud. So basically, we got a stamp and we got unlimited food. This place is unreal. And basically, we're gonna cook it ourselves here. There he is. One is starting the cooking process. This place is mental. So, it's an unlimited Korean buffet. And you just, it reminds me of um, our time in. Yeah, Luang in Laos. Yeah, Laos. Same idea. You cook away your own food. So, nice. So, she's put that in. We found with some rice. Um, kimchi rice. We found with like spicy chicken. Normal chicken. And we've got honey glazed chicken over here. So, we're going all in. And a nice big bottle of water.
are watching the Zumba. This place is mental. <laughs> it's so crazy, we love it. It's so cool. I don't know if you can even hear us because the Zumba people are cracking on here now in a minute. It's like it's like winter wonderland in the summertime with happy hardcore music, Zumba people dancing and food all around and food all around yeah so really random place to come to but it's uh, definitely worth coming it was so good so, so good, good. Like, really good as soon as you enter the first restaurant on the left hand side is just Korean food all you can eat is star buffet you can cook your own food it's just unreal so good so it's a thumbs up from us so we'll just go back from the pool. Plan is to uh, plan what we're gonna do tomorrow because we don't have a plan for tomorrow yet. Yeah, there's no plan at all. So we gotta look it up and see what to do on the island here. Um, negative today, we lost our extension, extension cord, lead. extension lead. Positive, we saw people doing the Zumba while eating Korean food. So yeah, <laughs> not a bad day, a bit of a mix day. Not a bad day, actually. Yeah, no, I, I enjoyed very much our first day here. Uh, and we're looking forward for tomorrow. Well, thanks for watching, guys. And we'll see you in the next video.